What about your opinion? Unfortunately, I, you said 50-50. I think that in today's society, seeing how, how people consume information, mm-hmm. um, I think that it's even more, sadly, I hate to admit it, I think it's, it's sadly more towards, you know, you might have better results as an artist, meaning more attention and, and building a bigger fan base, um, marketing yourself and branding yourself and social media. But I'm a I'm I'm like from the old school, of you know old school state of mind of, of you need to work. So I you know when I, I was a pro tennis player, I, everything went through. You need to work on your skills. It's skills. You know it's hitting thousands of serves. So I come from that very concrete place where it's you need to have the skills to do what you want to do. So, but the reality is people, the market consumes information in a way today that. Sadly, you will. You might get better results focusing more on your brand. Mm. You know, I hate to say it, but that's how the state is to, today. I think. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Fifty fifty. Yeah, yeah. Um, and even I don't want to name names, but you see in the in the in the electronic space, you know, electro EDM space. Mm-hmm. I mean, most of the D de- everything's done, you know, anyway electronically, right? So a lot of a lot of, you know, there's this big, big, uh, big debate right now of hiring very young and talented kids who can create sick beats and sick songs. And, you know, they feed them onto like the biggest names in the industry for 2000 or 5000 bucks. And they, and the, you know, the big, you know, the big names just, you know, put a few beats on it and then it, you know, it sells and it's number one. Mm-hmm. And, and. I can respect that because they've done it to a level where they've had five or ten big songs, but it is, I think it is a bubble. I think eventually with more transparency, we'll see, we we might see artists who are very talented and who are feeding very good music to big names saying like, I don't need the big names to endorse me because I'm good enough. Do you see what I mean? Like I think that maybe eventually it might come back to the skills, you know? Which me being a you know workhorse, I would appreciate that more. You know, someone who's built the chops and the you know the skills. Well, the, the you're probably right. I mean, everything is a cycle. I mean, look yeah. at the the rise of vinyl. Yeah. Since the past two years, the rise yeah. of the sales of vinyl just yeah. went straight to the roof. Yeah. And I bet a lot of people don't even have record plays at their house. I don't, I don't, you know. <laughs> but some people just still buy it just because, you know, the artwork and it's like yeah. a one and a half. Yeah. So I think a lot of it, a lot of it goes in cycles. And with the, with the EDM, I understand it. And um, I understand the popularity of it because people don't have to think. There are no, li- basically no lyrics involved. Yeah. You know, it's, it's the perfect way for a lot of people to end their work week. And forget about all their yep. personal stress. Yep. But I think the danger lies in the fact that it all sounds the same. I agree. So after song, after song. So after a while, I think that people will get tired of that same formula, but also like the, the ones with the real skills will stand up and, and you know, stay. Bring, that, yep. bring that difference that it will need to yep. sustain. Go to MatthiasMazur.com to watch the full episode and connect with Matthias on social media. See the links in the description below.